Hi, I'm Sweet King Joe, and welcome to this hotel review channel where I'm going to review hotels from all over the world. This is just to give you guys an insight into exactly what to expect when you stay at one of these hotels, and there won't be any unpleasant surprises. Today, I'm here at the South Place Hotel in London, and I have Suite 610. It is what they call the crown in their jewel. So stay tuned to see exactly what this suite and the hotel has to offer. As you enter suite 610, you're confronted by this huge, vast space. A lot of people, myself included, are not used to having this much space in a hotel room. Another thing that really hits you when you walk in the room is the size of this dining table. It is the centerpiece of this room. It sits eight people and it can be set up for a private dinner party. This chandelier over here, right, it's spherical, resembles the sun, light giving. It's just quite intriguing. I guess the night when the natural light is out, the light's actually illuminated and accentuates this whole chandelier thing going on here. When you enter this room, another thing that gets you thinking is there's quite there's several doors over here and you're thinking to yourself, what is behind those doors? So shall we have it? Behind this one, you've got a guest toilet. I guess this can be used for guests if you have a dinner party. So that I don't have to go to the bedroom toilet. You can keep that one for yourself. There is another door over here and it's like a little mini kitchenette. You've got somewhere to like maybe wash glasses or whatever. You've got an espresso coffee machine. You've also got a kettle and cupboard with loads of different types of teas and little teacups and stuff like that. It is quite a functional mini kitchen. Over here, you've got a little workstation. Well, it's not quite little, it's quite big. Workstation, and you've got a work pad. This is quite fantastic. This is the first time I've seen something like this in a hotel. You've also got an air charging thing where you can just put your phone on there and you don't have to have it connected in any way, shape, or form. You also have over here a, a desktop lamp. Um, let's see, why do you turn this on? Yeah, and I guess you can turn it so that the light up or down, you can turn it in many different directions. You've got a telephone, of course, if you want to contact reception, room service, whatever it is you need. Over here, you've got like a media hub where you can connect your different devices. I guess you know, people that love playing games. You can connect your PlayStation 4s or PlayStation 5, Xbox One, whatever it is that tickles your fancy. But I just had to get a refreshment and some nibbles. I was getting a bit peckish. But let's carry on with this. Anyway, over here you've got a decent sized TV screen. It is actually Bang and Olufsen. That is top quality. Right, and moving over this side, you've got the living room. As you can see, you've got an L-shaped couch. And it is quite, quite big, you can like literally the couch potato and watch TVs and movies. You've got another Bang & Olufsen TV over there. And they've got actually, they actually have a, um, a, a movie library um, in there. So you can just turn on the TV and go to the different settings. They have a movie library. The really, really cool thing about this suite, right, is the fact that they've got like speakers all over the place. They've got that. Like, it looks like a sound bar. They've got speakers on the wall, so if you like playing a movie and stuff, you can get like a full surround. And you've got another speaker over there. Right, that is actually fantastic. It's really set up for like movies and you know, if you want to do games. Now, if you connect your Xbox to or PS4 to that like media hub, you can literally turn this into a gaming station. Right, in a five-star hotel, and that is actually fantastic. Now, another really fantastic thing about this room is this section here. I'll let you see that for yourself. Right, 
you've got a fully stocked minibar supplied for days not just for the night for days right this is not just what's on top here you also have a wine bar over there down there you, you've got like three six nine different wine bottles but that's not that's not even the end of it that's not even the end of it look over here like draw one you've got more right you, in the top drawer you've got like some snacks you're completely covered they've got your back one of the most important rooms in any hotel is the bedroom right the first thing I want to bring your attention to is the bed right it is huge I'm a very tall guy I can lie on there full length so another thing I'd like to show you guys is this panel over here this panel is really fantastic. It controls quite a few things. It's got blackout shutters, which are controlled over here. Another really cool thing that they've done is a complimentary bottle of something really nice, right? And a little message to, to, to like welcome us to the room. Stuff like that's really good. Oh, you've got this little remote here. So this little remote controls this. I don't know how to call it. It, could, it says air multiplier technology, whatever that means. So I'm going to turn this little thing on. Okay, it's doing something. I guess it's doing something with the environment. I feel that the selling point of this room, no, this suite, is the amazing bathroom. Amazing doesn't even begin to describe it, it's epic. It is absolutely fantastic. You can see here, you've got the bathtub and it's got glass on the side. It's a glass bathtub and you can see the amenities. They're not those little tiny ones. You've got distant size. It's, it's 100 mils, right? It's not those little tiny, like in those hotels that you wonder how they expect you to have a proper bath with a tiny little portion. I'm looking forward to actually indulging in this business here tomorrow morning. You follow, right, you've got a marble bathroom. Right, it is massive, the size of it is huge. Oh, I forgot to show you the shower. So you've got a big rainfall shower over here and you've got a handheld piece over there. Right, all marble tops, double vanity, right. You've got this flowers which add a little touch to it, the aesthetics of the place. Uh, you've got like bear towels sorry you've got plenty towels <laughs> like there's more than you'll ever need right loads there loads here you don't even have to call yourself to ask for extra towels like you have to do in other hotels um yeah you've got a weighing scale down there and stuff and moving on you've got the toilet over here this is where all the magic happens it's also marble black. Marble has just got this look, this feel, this luxurious feel, this, this bougie feel. Marble has, yeah. Nice, soft closing, etc. So it is fantastic. This bathroom is actually the highlight of this room. For me, it is like just wall. This is the best bathroom, hands down, I've seen in any hotel room. And I've been to quite a few recent hotels and this is the best. Oh, another thing I forgot to show you guys in the master bedroom is you've got another Bang & Olufsen TV. That is absolutely fantastic. You've also got another media hub. Same connectivity as the one in the living area. You've got over here even more stuff to drink, more stuff to wet your throat. Um, yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Oh, you've got even more snacks and stuff in here. Same stuff that is in the other, uh, in the living room. So yeah, oh, there is, right, something here. Earphones. Oh wow. I shall ask them if I can take this home 
If I can, I will certainly take these out. Oh, over here you've got a full size mirror as well. This is very helpful if you're going out on the night out and stuff like that. So getting dressed, making sure you're looking spot on. I guess I've showed you guys all there is to show about this fantastic suite. So allow me to enjoy the luxuries of this room and this little gift that has been left for me. So I'm going to try and be very careful with how I pop this dashboard because I don't want the cork flying out and literally smashing the BNO TVs because those are really expensive and smashing the TVs over there. So I'm going to try and be a bit careful about it. So I'm going to aim it at my videographer. <laughs> she actually ducked, she was ducking a diamond. <laughs> she thought I was actually going to do it. <laughs> oh my days. Yeah, so the deed has been done. <laughs> So, anywho, ladies, go away. Okay, so now I said I'll see you guys in the morning. However, there's a few changes. Water food room service, and it's come really well presented. So I just want to show you guys what you get when you order room service. We just want something simple like burger and stuff like that. Um, I mean, if you stay in the five star hotel, it doesn't mean you have to start eating like this and stuff like that. You can just eat normal food as well. They do have a Michelin star restaurant in this hotel, and we could have gone to the Michelin star restaurant and had forks and knives and things like this. However, this is absolutely fantastic. A gastronomical jubilee. Right. Fantastic burgers, fries, and Weird. So, really looking forward to this dinner. South Place Hotel is the place. It is bougie, gorgeous, luxurious, and has the wow factor. From a 24 hour fitness and wellness area with floor to ceiling windows, a spa where you can unwind and indulge, a secret garden, a games room, five bars, including a rooftop terrace where you can soak in the views of the beautiful city of London. South Place Hotel has it all. I wish I had stayed longer to explore all the hotel has to offer. I took advantage of the room service which was beautifully presented as you have seen. However, if you are looking to really go all out, you should check out their Michelin starred restaurant, Angler. The next morning I had breakfast at the South Place Chop House restaurant and again the food was amazing. However, the presentation was not to my personal preference. Nonetheless, let's move over to the final thoughts segment of this episode. So after all is said and done, right, I am going to give this hotel a 9 out of 10 rating. It's, it's just got so much going on for it. It's got the Angler, which is a Michelin star restaurant, which is on the seventh floor and stuff. And then the Chop House, which is downstairs, which is a really nice restaurant as well. And I just figured, I found out this morning, it's got like a games room as well with a big pool table and stuff like that. They've just got all these touches right all these extra things that a lot of hotels don't have so yeah definitely a 9 out of 10 for this hotel so obviously some people will be thinking or maybe the hotel management will be thinking what would make this what would have made you stay at 10 out of 10 because every establishment wants 10 out of 10 rating and stuff like that for me personally, I feel what would have made this a 10 out of 10 rating. It is, it's, it's quite simple. It is in Swiss 610. It's a jewel of their crown. It is quite pricey. Right, and you're paying a premium. Right. So the, the, the lounge area, I feel that they could, they could do better. Right, but that's my personal taste. So everybody has got a different taste. I, I, I just, the, the whole, look they're trying to go for in the lounge area it didn't work for me that is the only one thing that why i didn't rate this hotel or my stay at 10 out of 10 that's that's literally the only thing right because it is the joy in the crowd so i think they need, in my opinion what would make it a proper jewel is changing the couch and that little literally changing the couch and the carpet in the lounge area of Suite 610. That is the only thing. Right, even though the, the couch is not, is not terrible. It is nice, it's comfortable, 
like it's this big you actually lounge on it you can be a proper couch potato lie on it like watch movies and stuff like that it, it is actually nice it, it's okay but especially the jewel in the crown i feel maybe i'm talking too much but i feel this is the one thing that would make that would have made my stay a 10 out of 10. thank you guys for watching this review i hope you really enjoyed it and i hope it was really informative and i also hope it's going to inform your choice for your next stay in london that's the whole point of this channel to give you guys an idea of exactly what the rooms look like or exactly what you get in these hotels so i hope i delivered with this review please don't forget to comment below like subscribe and share this video as well as hit that notification button so you get notified of any upcoming reviews like this one until next time take care of yourselves and of each other. Sweet King Joe, sign